food and health. Class 5, Science Children, look at the picture given. You can see the different types of food. Things like bread, carrot, grapes, fruit juice, and cucumber are obtained from plants. And things like milk, fish, eggs, curd, and cheese are obtained from animals. We should eat a variety of foods to remain healthy. In this chapter, you will learn about food and its components, balanced diet and diseases. Let us begin. Food and its components Food contains five main components. Carbohydrates Fats Proteins Vitamins And minerals our body needs all these components in adequate amounts to remain healthy. Now, let us learn the sources and function of the five main components of food. Carbohydrates It provide energy to the body. Bread, rice, wheat, fruits such as bananas and mangoes, sugar, potato, and corn are sources of carbohydrates. Fats it helps to keep the body warm. Sources are, meat, vegetable oil, milk, butter, cheese, ghee, cream, dry fruits. Proteins They are essential for growth and muscle building. Sources are, chicken, fish, eggs, milk, cheese, pulses, soya bean. Vitamins and minerals they are needed in small amounts for normal functioning of the body. Fruits and vegetables, fish, eggs, milk. Let us see the sources of each type of components. Sources of carbohydrates. Some sources of vitamins and minerals. Sources of proteins and sources of fats, water and roughage. Along with the five main components of food, our body also needs adequate amounts of water and roughage. Water acts as the medium for the transport of nutrients inside our body. It also allows food to pass easily through the digestive system. We should drink plenty of water and include foodstuffs containing roughage in our diet. Roughage is the undigested part of the plant food. It helps in moving the food through our digestive system and in proper removal of wastes from our body. Atta, whole wheat flour, oats, dahlia, corn, and cabbage are some good sources of roughage. Balanced Diet A diet that contains adequate amount of different components of food, along with roughage and water, required for the healthy functioning of our body is called a balanced diet. Our diet must include adequate amounts of different components of food for our body to be healthy. So, remember to eat food from all food groups every day. Health is a state of complete physical and mental well-being. This means both the mind and the body must be completely fit for a person to be considered healthy. Proper food, diet, rest, exercise, and correct posture are essential for staying healthy. Diseases a disease is a state in which a function or part of the body is no longer in a healthy condition. Diseases can occur due to improper diet, lack of rest or exercise, or lack of cleanliness. However, diseases can also occur due to other reasons. In general, diseases are of two types, non-communicable and communicable diseases. Non-communicable diseases 
Non-communicable diseases are those that do not spread from one person to another. Some of the non-communicable diseases are caused due to the deficiency of a particular food component, also called nutrients. These are called deficiency diseases. Let us learn some deficiency diseases. Look at the table below. It explains the disease name, cause, and the food that contains particular vitamin and mineral. Night blindness. Vitamin A. Green leafy vegetables, papaya, carrot, mango, milk, butter, and egg yolk. Berry berry. Vitamin B1. Milk, peas, cereals, and green vegetables. Scurvy. Vitamin C. Armilla, orange, lemon, and tomato. Rickets. Vitamin D. Milk and milk products. Goiter. Iodine. Iodized salt, cranberries, and seafood. Anemia. Iron. Spinach, apple, guava, brinjal, and meat. Other than deficiency diseases, there are other non-communicable diseases which may have other causes. Diseases such as allergies are caused when a person is sensitive to certain substances, such as dust, certain foods, and drugs. Diseases such as obesity and heart condition are caused due to excess intake of fatty foods. Some heart conditions may also be present at birth or may be passed on from the parents. Diseases such as diabetes and arthritis may be caused when a part of the body fails to function. Diseases such as cancer can be caused due to smoking, excessive drinking, communicable diseases. Communicable diseases are those that can spread from one person to another. They are generally caused by germs. Germs are disease causing microbes. Spreading germs through direct contact. When an infected person coughs or sneezes, the germs causing the disease are released into the air and can infect a healthy person. Food and water that have been left uncovered attract flies. Flies carry germs on their bodies and pass them on to the uncovered food and water when they sit on them. Mosquitoes and some other insects can transmit germs through their bite. When a mosquito bites a person infected with malaria, it sucks in germs along with the behold. Let us have a look on some communicable diseases. Common cold Cough, sore throat, runny nose, fever Regular hand washing and keeping away from the infected person Pneumonia Cough, fever, shaking chills and shortness of breath. Treatment with antibiotics. Tuberculosis. Fever, chills, night sweats, loss of appetite, weight loss, weakness, continued cough, chest pain. Treatment with antibiotics. Antibiotics. Substances that can kill disease causing organisms. Preventive Communicable Diseases Hygiene may be defined as practices that help to ensure cleanliness and good health. We should eat clean and healthy food. We should not eat uncovered food from roadside vendors. We should wash our hands, brush our teeth, and bathe daily. We should always eat food from clean utensils and clean hands. We should not drink unclean water. We should not allow water to collect in and around our homes. Mosquitoes breed in stagnant water. We should keep our surroundings clean to control flies. We should throw garbage in dust bins. We should stay away from infected people as much as possible. 
Some communicable diseases can also be prevented by vaccination. Vaccination is the use of special substances called vaccines to prevent specific diseases. Vaccines help to build up resistance in the body. Most vaccines are given to children when they are very young. Summary The food contains five main components, carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins, and minerals. Our diet must include adequate amounts of different components of food. In general, diseases are of two types, non-communicable and communicable diseases. Many diseases can be prevented through vaccination. Good hygiene also helps in preventing diseases. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.